All right, I would like to diagram out what you're seeing on your web page, and hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. Um, I want to diagram out the text node structure. So at the very, very top of the structure that you see illustrated in the page you're working with is a topic. Topic at the top of the hierarchy. Down from topic, so this is the top of the hierarchy. Topic has some children. First children is an ID attribute. Just because it's an, a an attribute doesn't mean that it's, not a, um, that it's not a child of topic. It is a child of topic. That ID itself has a child, and I think it's top underscore one. So topic has a child of ID. ID has a child of top one. This one right here is a text node. This one right here is an attribute node. This one right here is an element node. Topic also has another child, another direct child, which is a text node. So there's a text node. Topic also has another child called link. And then link has a child. And now I'm running out of space here. But I, this is really all I'm going to need to show you. Link has a child called ID. And ID has a child called top, called, uh, sorry, not ID. I think it's called ref ID. Ref ID. And ref ID has a top underscore two text node child. Okay, so here we go. The top of our hierarchy, the top of our node structure is a topic element. It's an element node. The element node has an ID child. The ID child has a top one text node child. Top one, as you can see, is a grandchild. ID is a child of topic. Top one is a grandchild. This text node here is a child. It's a peer to the ID. It's at the same level of the hierarchy. Meanwhile, another peer is the link element. This is an element node, and it's called link, and it has a child called ref ID. And ref ID, in turn, has a top underscore two child. So we have parent, child, grandchild, parent, child, parent, child, grandchild, great grandchild. And of course, in your example, there's also another text node, there's also another link node. Right? But we don't have to go into that detail. So what you see here is diagrammed out exactly what you see on your, on your web page. And what I want you to understand about this is that the text nodes are always at the bottom. Does there have to be a text node at the bottom? No. I, could have a, I can have an element that has no value inside of it, and that would be an element node with no text node in it. But generally speaking, the very ends, the very tips of the hierarchy, of the XML hierarchy, are text nodes. And then they're, parent, they're, they're, they're children of either an attribute or an element. And those attributes and elements are then child's children of other elements. So text node is at the bottom. There's no child of a text node. Text node is the end of the line. Um, but text nodes have parents of either attributes or elements. And attributes and elements have children have, can have parents of elements. Attributes, of course, only have element, uh, element parents. Elements either have an element parent or they're at the top. And there is no parentage because they're the root element. All right, so that's the way text nodes work. Text nodes really are just strings, just strings of characters. You'll also hear them called values. It's because this is the value. We have an ID attribute with a value of top underscore one, right? So sometimes those text nodes are called values as well. For example, when we're in um, transforms, we say value of, which really means give me the text nodes. But the technical word for these things are text nodes. And the way now that you should think about XML files in general is that they're hierarchies, they're outlines. They're like a massive table of contents of everything that's in this file. Everything is named. And then when you finally come down to the contents, it's a set of text nodes. All right.